Hi guys. Welcome to Super Days with Super Dave. My name is Super Dave. I'm the director of training with Best Life Creation Society. Um, happy, what's today? Oh yeah, happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, I'm really looking forward to what we're going to talk about, which is, uh, oh yeah, it's about pre-paving and it's about acknowledging and brief. And so I'm really looking forward to that. Hi, Jen. Um, happy day. Um, man, there's just so much goodness out there. There's just so much life out there. There's just so much, there's so much to delight in. And it is because of this thing we talk about in Best Life called pre-paving. And I'll expand on that here shortly, but I want to talk about this first thing here, which is acknowledging and brief. Um, I want to talk about the power of acknowledging and brief because it's really, really um, important that with our emotions that we just allow them to be, you know, so often, um, happy, beautiful, magnificent day to you too, Jen. Um, that with our emotions and stuff, we tend to have these things where we think we're not supposed to acknowledge our emotions, right? There's these ideas out there in the real world of like, well, don't really feel that, you know, and don't really say that. And don't really, don't really, you, you can't really express that. But when we're really true and honest with what we're feeling and we're really acknowledging what we feel when we feel it, it so allows us to just continuously move forward. It allows us to prepave, which I'll get to here in a second. Um, it allows us to just continuously be the deliberate creators that we came into this physical experience to be. Um, in the training recently in Best Life within the last, I'd say probably two, three weeks, one of the subjects that we've been covering is this idea of acknowledging our feelings, right? Um, so often people go, oh, you don't feel that way. Or here's one, right? Maybe you notice something that doesn't feel good and you go, oh, it's not that big of a deal. The fact that you even had the thought that it's a big deal means that it's a bigger deal than the mind wants to make it at the time. And that's okay. It's all perfect because the reason why acknowledging in brief is so powerful is so that way you can allow yourself to move forward. It's so you can allow yourself to just continuously be in that space of allowing everything that you desire and everything that you receive. So a uh, perfect example would be, let's just say there was some stress in like life or in your business, or let's take one that's even better than that, that I'm feeling right now. Uh, let's just say you have like an upset with an individual, right? A relationship of some sort. Well, interestingly enough, if you were to go, why am I having this upset? All you're doing is continuing to perpetuate the upset. Can you guys feel that? Does that resonate? So it's really about acknowledging in brief what you don't like, right? So maybe there is that upset. So then instead of being like, why did I manifest this? Where did this come from? What's what's the catch? There's no catch. We live in a law of attraction-based universe, so there's something vibrationally that was going on for that to take place. But here's what's so awesome. For us to move forward, we don't need to get to the bottom of it, right? Because there's a, this idea like, well, if we can get to the bottom of what's really going on, then we can move forward. It's not really true. Think about it like this. Have you ever in your own life been like, I need to get to the bottom of this and for the time that you were focused on getting to the bottom of it, you continue to perpetuate more of it, more of what you didn't want, more of what wasn't desirable, more of what didn't feel good. Yeah, that's because we live in a law of attraction based universe. So whatever we put our attention and focus on, and for those that are watching and who understand the law of attraction, which is this idea of, or maybe who don't understand the law of attraction, which is this idea of that which is like unto itself is drawn. Yeah, and this is not karma. This is not like, well, I was, I was good. So I, no, no, it's not karma. This is vibrational. This is energetic. This is whatever we put our attention and focus on and keep there, we get. Because here's the thing I'm talking about acknowledging in brief. This means if you have a dissatisfied thought and then you're like, you're like, let's just say like, again, let's just take this relationship thing, right? Someone's like, oh God, can't believe they did that. Ooh, look at that squirrel. Guess what? You're not attracting that because you don't have any attention or focus on the dissatisfaction. You went off into somewhere else. And as ridiculous as that may sound, but you're now focusing on something that doesn't have that same energy, right? Like, ooh, squirrel, or ooh, you know, it'd be fun to get some ice cream. Guess what? That in essence is also wonderfully pivoting. So, oh, I see some comments here. Hi, Maggie. Hello, Byram. Oh, you're so welcome. I saw you say thank you. Um, 
You can't get to the bottom of anything. Just move forward. Yeah, exactly, Jen. You can't. You cannot get to the bottom of anything. All it does is perpetuate more of where you are. It is that feeling that sometimes people feel, or maybe you felt watching this video, of stuckness. So here's how we do this. Here's how we move forward from this. We acknowledge what we feel in brief. This, guys, is so, 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 so powerful. When you can acknowledge how you feel in brief and then move forward, you're continuing to be in that space of what feels good for you. You're continuing to be in that space of um, your own satisfaction. You're continuing to be in that space of, um, Abraham calls it the receptive mode. This is the idea that, think of it like this, everything that you've asked for, we always ask for it from a space of, we, we ask it for it because we feel that we're going to feel better in the receiving of it, Right. So, you know, like we're not asking for like an example I use all the time is, you know, I'm not going, woohoo, I'm so excited for that new car because of all the stress it's going to give me. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't do that. Right. But we might go, you know, and it's gonna be different for everyone. Right. Cause it's very individual, you know, oh, I'm really excited for this new car because of the freedom it's going to give me. Right. Or the new excitement that it, I'm going to feel with it or the extra joy that it's going to give to me or whatever. Right. But the focus is on that. It feels good. So here's the magic us being in that space of the receiving mode and the ability to acknowledge what we feel in brief and then move forward, that allows us to be in that space of being receptive to the things that we're asking, whether it's the better car or the greater relationships, more income in the bank, um, greater health, greater awareness, more clarity, right? All these things fall in that space which we talk about in Best Life 2 and which we got as a concept from Abraham, which is your vibrational vortex, right? Think of the vortex as this beautiful swirling, like a tornado, right? Like a beautiful swirling energy. But remember, as it swirls, it's also gathering and collecting more as it goes. Well, guess what? Your vibrational vortex is the same way. Any time in life that you experience what you don't desire, guess what's being put into your beautiful vibrational vortex? The exact opposite of what you do desire. So if you're feeling disrespected, guess what's being put into the vortex? Respect. If you're wanting greater relationships and you're, you know, with a, with a spouse or a significant other where there's, there's no faithfulness, guess what's in the vortex? Beautiful faithfulness. You know, if you're feeling very dependent, guess what's in the vortex? Depend or independence, right? All the beautiful things, all the satisfied nature of everything that you desire is in your vibrational vortex. So back to it or rather moving forward to it, haha, <laughs> I caught myself, um, by us feeling good, by us acknowledging what we feel in brief, we can move forward. So what would be an example of this? Let's go back to that relationship. Let's just say there was that upset, you know? So we'll just, I'm going to say, I don't know anybody named this name, so I'm just going to say, so maybe there was a gal named Kathleen, right? Okay, you know, and you're like, oh, I'm so upset with Kathleen. Well, then the next thing would not to be to go, oh, I, oh I, it's been like this forever. It, it's, it's always like this because all you're doing is continuing to put focus and hold that vibration in place. But if you can acknowledge in brief, because I'm not saying don't be upset or don't uh, be dissatisfied with what doesn't feel good. Be very dissatisfied. Be extremely dissatisfied. But here's the key. Be dissatisfied in brief acknowledge it in brief right so again let's go to this kathleen example you know oh i'm really upset with this upset with kathleen breathe not my preference i don't like being upset with kathleen okay okay what would feel a little bit better or here's another one can i feel a little bit better it's that simple guys and it's that gentle that's what's so nice about this too because you're allowing yourself to be gentle with yourself there's a lot of stuff out there that's telling you to motivate yourself and to go for it. And you're a winner and you can do it. You've always been a winner. You've always been able to do it. And by feeling good, you're actually doing it. And when you're not feeling good, guess what? It's still happening because of the universe and the way that you're in this beautiful, beautiful physical experience. So even if you can't feel the vibrational vortex, it doesn't mean that the vibrational vortex isn't working to bring you everything that you desire. So I'm seeing a lot of really good comments here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, back up here for a second. Um, hi, Byram. Let's see here. Um, again, hello, Maggie. Let's see here. Our focus brings life to whatever we focus on, either wanted or unwanted. Yeah, totally, Jen. Exactly. Because whatever we put our attention and focus on, we bring. This is an inclusive universe. It's not exclusive. The universe isn't going to say, well, hey, I know you don't like that, so we're just not going to bring you that because that would actually be really confusing. 
But here's what they're saying. Oh, you're putting your attention and focus on that. We're going to bring that to you. Wonderfully unbiased. And it also doesn't have you, or it's never going to come down to your dissatisfied vibration. It's always in a satisfied space. So if you're feeling upset or you're feeling stressed, it's never going to be like, oh, well, since you feel stressed, I'm going to give you this. How confusing would that be? But what it will say is, you're stressed. I got that. Here is some more stress. Very unbiased, right? But watch this. Here's what's so powerful about law of attraction. Let's just say you're feeling great or you're feeling very calm or you're feeling very happy or you're feeling very joyful. Let's use calm, right? Oh, I see that you're feeling calm. Here's more things to add to that beautiful calm vibration. Yeah. Circumstances, people, events, circumstances, awarenesses. They'll all be in that vibrational space of whatever that is that you're currently vibrating. It's very, very powerful. And you're probably going, well, how can I actually continue to be in that space of my own satisfaction? Ha ha ha. That's where the next thing that I'm talking about, which I'm so delighted. And this is something that we've really recently been talking about in Best Life. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, with a lot of this stuff with personal development, it's like I knew about it, but I didn't really know how to do it. I had no idea that it was as simple as it is. So I'm going to expand on that in a second. I'm just going to read a couple of these comments real quick. So... Um, oh yeah, I love this. So Jen says, wherever you are is the best place for you to be, to move forward to that which you desire. Yeah, it's true. It's so true. Um, and then she's saying, always appreciate, oh, got to open that up more. Always appreciate your feelings. They are guiding you. If something doesn't feel good, always deliberately shift to a better feeling. Yeah. You know, there was even one time when I experienced some contrast I think it was about three weeks ago and it had been built up in such a space of momentum, right? That I was just like, ah, right? Can you feel that? And I basically asked myself, well, can I feel better? And I laughed and I'm like, no. But here's what's so funny. When I said that, it made me go, okay, there's nothing that serious going on here. And then there really isn't, guys. I know sometimes it may feel like there's stuff going on that's real serious. If there's a lot of dissatisfied momentum, if there's a lot of stress in your life or worry or anxiety in your life, that there's a bunch of seriousness. Source doesn't see it that way. Your beautiful inner being doesn't see it that way. God doesn't see it that way. You know, the universe does not see it that way or feel it that way. And all that's telling us is it's that indicator that I'm just in that space at that time seeing, feeling, and experiencing it different than source. So all I got to do is get back into a space of feeling good, and thus, I'll be back in a space of drawing in the things that I do desire. Because law of attraction is always working, but we get to choose, like Jen was saying, wherever we put our focus, what things we're drawing in, what vibrations we're drawing in, what experiences we're drawing in. So hi, Debbie. Welcome, welcome. Um, she's saying to inspiration, your guidance comes from within. It does in spire think of spire as like something that points up right something that's pointing up or coming from up right inspiration right it's not motivation it's not about you know go get it you know or some other person's uh guidance telling you what to do it's you feeling for yourself what feels best so yeah so and that ties in beautifully because the next thing i want to talk about is this concept, like I was saying, called pre-paving. Pre-paving is this. It's about deliberately setting your intentions for each new segment of your day. Now, in personal development, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, setting your intention for the day. That's great, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I, In fact, I can say that that was another thing that really started to help me in my journey of being able to feel, you know, who I truly am. But think about it like this. If you set your attention in the morning and you're, good, and, you're good, and you're feeling good 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 and then contrast, right? Or what you don't want comes in. If all we set is the intention at the beginning of the day and there's no idea knowing what's going to happen as we're going through, when that comes up, it has the potential to very much wobble you. It has the very much the, the potential to jar you or to rattle you, right? You, you know what I'm talking about, guys? Like you ever felt rattled or like, Oh, man, I just feel like they rattled my cage. They didn't rattle your cage. You allowed them to rattle your cage. And so that's why pre-paving is so powerful because when we can pre-pave 
everything that's going on in this physical experience, and, it can, and it's real general. My recommendation with this is it's very, very general. So it could be something like, you know, and this is going to sound silly, but this is powerful, and I'll explain why you, you'd want to do it this way. I'm really going to enjoy brushing my teeth, right? Mm -hmm. You brush your teeth, and then what's the next thing? Um, oh, that's where I was going to go grab the mail. Mm. The walk to my mailbox is going to be delightful, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And again, but think about it. If you prepave, we'll just play with this, right? So you prepave your brushing your teeth, you prepave the mail, you prepave all your meals, you prepave your drive to work, you prepave your drive or your walk into the office, and then contrast. But guess what? When it comes in, because you've continuously built up this momentum of what feels good, right? And you've continuously been in this space of being your own deliberate creator, right? You look at this and you go, oh, okay. How can we move forward from this? And whether you say it out loud or whether you say it to yourself, you'll be guided. You'll be guided by your alignment. You'll be guided by your inner being. Some will call it your inner voice. Some would call it, some would call it your inner child. Um, a lot of people call it intuition. Hey, there's that in, the, in word again, right? So we have inspiration. We have intuition, right? Yeah, from within. Not Jack's intuition, not John's intuition, not your mom's intuition, your intuition. You're going to be guided in that moment when that contrast comes to go, oh, okay, um, yeah, so moving forward. But do you feel that energy? It's not like, oh, yeah, I know, I, oh my God, I'm sorry that that can't. No. This is freedom, guys. This idea of pre-paving it allows you to just feel so, so good as you move forward with everything. And to show I'm not just like, you know, talking under my butt to be to be blunt, I'll give you a real life example. So um, yesterday I was driving and um, I had been pre-paving all day and it felt so good. And uh, I worked in the morning and um, I drive for Lyft, which is um, the service where you can, you know, get rides and everything. And I was prepaving each one of my turns, right? So something gentle like, you know, this next turn will be smooth, right? Or things will flow nicely here, right? But again, you hear the gentleness. It's not like, it's. there's not a lot of specifics there. It's just very, very general, very, very broad. And as I saw that, said that, I was coming around the curve to where my house is. And first, a cat tried to jump out in front of me. And I gently dodged that. Then a squirrel jumped out in front of me. And I gently dodged that. And then a car almost jumped out in front of me and I gently dodged that. But it was like this. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, cool. But do you feel that? So gentle. I wasn't like, ho! Oh! Or, oh my God! Or, ha! Ah! It was just gentle. Oh, okay. Oh, all right, there's an, oh, okay, cool. And just con continue moving forward. Didn't affect my mood, didn't affect my emotions, didn't affect my vibration. But this is not just isolated to me. You guys all have this beautiful energy, power, and pleasure within you right now. And by you being able to feel good and as good as you can and prepave, setting those little mini intentions throughout your day, then life is like this, guys. And you're just cruising and not like this. Yeah. It's a big difference, isn't it? I used to have life be like this. A lot of contrast. Not very fun. And perfect because it was launching all these beautiful things, right? Like I said earlier, into the vortex. But it's so much more fun for life to be like this. You'd think it'd be boring, but it's not. When you're feeling good and you're feeling free, it's hard to put into words. And I hope just through my eyes or my face or my energy or my voice, you can feel what that freedom feels like, guys. It is amazing. It is awesome. It is the best. And it's still fun. I thought, well, maybe, I'd get, maybe I'll get bored with this. No. I thought, well, maybe this won't feel good later. No. It always feels good. Plus, your ability to, in essence, stand on that vibration of your freedom, your freedom to feel whatever you feel, whenever you feel it, no matter what, 
for myself, I found it becoming stronger. I found it becoming more fortified. I found it becoming even more delightful. I found these things that used to irk me just like feeling so good. Whether it's doing my laundry, right? Or washing my dishes or mowing my lawn. I mean, it's these things, right? And it's just so gentle. And when I notice the contrast, because I'm not saying that contrast won't ever come. Of course contrast comes, right? Three contrast things in a row, right? First it was a cat, then it was a squirrel, then it was a car. But it felt so good to just gently, you know, oh, okay. And that's the thing, guys, when you're in your alignment and when you prepave, you're just gently navigating and flowing through life. Imagine that for a second. You're just beautifully navigating and flowing through life. And those who are watching this may go, I am doing that. Well, then if you're doing that, continue. And I feel you. I feel you completely. It is a feeling like nothing else. So I got some more comments here. I'm going to go ahead and take a looky-loo here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, see Debbie's here. Maggie's here. Hello, hello. Um, thank you, Jen, and all the besties. Oh, you're so welcome, Deb. I'm glad you're here. Happy, happy Tuesday. Um, she's saying, if you can catch yourself saying something like, I wonder how this will work out. We'll see. Know that you can shift that vibration by getting out ahead of it. That's exactly right, Jen. Yeah, something even as gentle as like, you know, wouldn't it be nice? You know, or I, I bet this is going to work out for me. Yeah, right? It could be that gentle. If you have stronger beliefs and maybe it's like, oh, this is great. Everything's always in my favor or I'm wonderfully supported by the universe, right? Or it could be something as simple as, you know, God's always on my side. And if you have faith in that and you believe that, guess what? You'll find yourself wanting to do something else or feel something else that feels better. You will. You will be inspired. Because it's not even about a doing of anything. It's just about feeling. Right? It's not like, oh, I better go do something to get my mind off this. You'll feel. Because sometimes if the momentum is really strong, you know what feels best? And we actually talk about it in Best Life. Take a nap. Yeah. Or do some meditation, or eat some ice cream, or practice some appreciation. I mean, all these things, guys, are about us and tools for us that we use in Best Life so that you can continuously move forward and you can continuously allow your beautiful awareness of who you are to expand. And not by focusing on the expansion, but by just focusing on how good you feel. So I'm going to read a couple more comments and then I think I'm going to wrap up here. So let's see here. Um... I totally agree. Being mindful and in the moment is awesome. It is awesome, Deb. It really is. It's, it's, oh, it's the best, Debbie. I, I mean, it's like, it's kind of like this. For me, it's almost like when we feel our own alignment, why would we not want to feel anything less than that? When we know that we have the freedom to feel as satisfied as we want, as much as we want, as often as we want, why wouldn't we want to just continue that all the time? You know, we didn't come into this physical experience to struggle, guys, or strife, or pay the piper, or, uh, 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 you know, work hard, or you got to be hungry, and all these kind of things. Look, and there's nothing against working hard, but when you're in a space of alignment, it will not feel like work. And it won't feel drudgerous, and it won't feel draining. It'll be sheer delight. Case in point, I do stuff with Best Life, and I do stuff with Lyft. I've never really figured out my hours, but because of a circumstance a couple weeks ago, I had to kind of take a look and figure it out. I do like 60 to 80 hours a week with all the things that I do. It doesn't feel that way. I don't feel drained. I don't feel exhausted. I feel lively. I feel energized. I feel satisfied. I, I, feel, I find myself feeling more and more calm all the time as time goes on. I, I find myself <sighs> breathing. I find myself joyously delighting in everything this universe has to offer and excited about the diversity of this beautiful universe. So, and that's just, those are just my desires that I've, I've noticed. But you have your desires too. And whatever those desires are, we appreciate those in Best Life and I appreciate those so, so much because that's why we came to this physical experience to enjoy this physical experience. That's why we're here. I heard one of our besties recently say, I knew that life was beautiful when I remembered that life is beautiful. Do you feel that? I knew life was beautiful 
when I remembered that life is beautiful. That's another way of saying, I f it feels so good to feel so good. It's true. You know what I'm talking about. You can try to deny it, but go here. And if what I'm saying resonates, fantastic. And if, if, it, if it, most of it does or some of it doesn't, that's okay. Be gentle with yourself. You know, this is for you to feel your own alignment. This is for you to have the awareness of your unlimitedness. And I hope you guys can feel that and feel my, my segment intending along with my intention along with that for all of you. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to read a couple more comments and then uh, we'll see where we are after that. Because I'm also pre-paving like, uh-oh, what if someone asks questions? No, I'm kidding. But if they do, we'll do it. We'll just go for it. So here we go. Uh, let's see here. So Debbie's saying, I totally agree. Being mindful. Yep. Um, Jen, alignment and pre-paving allows you to enjoy all of life. Yeah, and I love how she capitalized it because it's so true. Enjoy all of life. All of it. It's so awesome, guys. From the showers and the contrast to the happy things and the delightful rides that I do with my business to the clients that I meet and the people I meet and the connections and the awarenesses and the, you know, the whatever, all of it. You just, you just enjoy all of it. So let's see here. Um, Debbie says, well, this is good. This is what I'm talking about, Debbie. Wish we had control over others' lack of respect in agreements and commitments to deadlines. Debbie, I'm going to say really directly, put your attention and your focus on what you want. Not the lack of what you're noticing with that. Because it is not our job to control others. The only job of ours is to control our vibration from within. Our vibration, our ability to stay in alignment. But here's the thing. I love that you're recognizing it. Acknowledge it in brief now and allow yourself to move forward. That would be my suggestion. Because the more you put attention and focus on that, it's almost like if you had a bundle of sticks in your hand and on the left side of the sticks were the things that you don't like, and on the right-hand side of these sticks were the things that you do like. All you're doing is looking at those sticks and going, I don't know why this won't leave. I don't know why this won't change. I don't know how to control this. Instead of, oh, look at that. I love my cat. You know, or I love my, my, my parents, or I love my dog, or man, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this aspect of my life. Shift your focus. And be gentle with yourself with it. If, if this subject has too many sticks that are illuminated, find another stick. Don't have it to have anything to do with business or deadlines or any of that stuff. Have it do something with how much you enjoy your grandkids, right? And how appreciative you are of all of the new things that are happening in your life, right? Or maybe there's some close friends. But anything that takes your focus off that, because I can feel even when you wrote that, there's momentum there. It's okay. It's perfect. But think of it like this. If there's momentum there, the more we try to figure out how to release the momentum, the more we figure out how to try to control these things we don't want, the more attention we put on what we don't want, the more we get more of what we don't want. You know, I recently had a student that said, can you tell me what to release in this circumstance? And I said, no. And he said, why not? I said, well, for one, it's my opinion. And for two, why do you want to put focus on what you don't want? Let's just put focus on moving forward. So I know it's direct. I hope you can feel that though. I still love you wonderfully and unconditionally. And you've got this. Allow yourself to be gentle with all of this. Breathe, meditate, take a nap. But don't put any focus on that because putting focus on that is just going to draw more of it in. You're just illuminating those sticks, you know, because even trying to focus on what you do want with that, there's probably too much specificity with that and therefore doubt. Yeah. So be real general. Just find other sticks, other things that feel so much better. And yeah, allow yourself to move forward. So, wow, look at that. Coaching in real time, that was completely off my radar. And how perfect that because of pre-paving, which is what we're talking about, we were able here to address that. So um, I'm so glad you guys were here. Oh, you're so welcome, Debbie. Yeah, she just said thanks in the comments, guys. Um, you're so, so welcome. I love you so much. Um, and I love all you guys so, so much. This is so fun, right? This is about our freedom and that we're so free and that we all come from this beautiful same source of love and light. And um, 
that there's more to come. Speaking of more to come, I'm really delighted, um, and we'll have something very, very soon. But um, through Best Life, myself and our CEO, Jen Kazmerchek, we are doing a class on this exact subject called Prepaving the Art. Yes, or getting out ahead of it, the art of prepaving, excuse me. Um, so yeah, prepaving the art of, excuse me, getting ahead of it, the art of prepaving. Woo! I said some at some point somewhere, um, but happening October 19th. So it's coming right up. It's about two weeks away, uh, but we're really excited about it. And um, we'll have ways for to register for it. Um, if you're in Best Life, it's free. It's part of your benefit of being a bestie. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I know you guys are really excited. Jen and I are just beyond excited about it because it's everything that we're talking about here as we move forward. And, um, and it's just so good to know, like Jen just, she just wrote, I literally thought this and then she literally wrote this, um, that we can always move forward. Like no matter what's going on in our life, we can always move forward. There is nothing that serious going on. There is nothing that serious going on. We are so free. We are so free to feel what we feel. And when we feel it, if it's what doesn't feel good, acknowledge it in brief and allow yourself to pivot into what would feel a little bit better and move forward. And here's the other thing that I was going to expand upon as we wrap up. If there is feelings and they do feel good, acknowledge those too and enjoy them. But here's the thing, acknowledge them in brief and continue to allow yourself to expand into what would feel even better and what would feel better. And you will naturally because of momentum, naturally because of law of attraction. You don't need to go, why do I feel so good? Because by doing that, all you're doing is starting to put attention on what doesn't feel good or a potential doubt can creep in. So just enjoy what feels good. So with both of these, acknowledge in brief and prepave and allow yourself to be moving forward. So again, if it's what feels good, acknowledge it in brief. and Or rather, if it's what doesn't feel good, acknowledge it in brief and then pivot into what would feel a little bit better. If it is something that does feel good, acknowledge it in brief and allow it to expand naturally by continuing to feel good. So um, this is so, so awesome. I'm so glad you're here. I see Menser's here. Hey, Menser, happy day to you. Um, and I love you guys so, so much, whether you just popped on or whether you've been here the whole time. And um, there's more to come, guys. There's more to come with Best Life. There's more to come in your life. There's more to come for all of us. And when you're in that space of feeling who you truly are, I can say with 100% certainty, you will feel that from within yourself because we are unlimited we all do come from that beautiful same sourceness of love and light and we're all here to beautifully be do and have anything and everything we want that's a given this just allows us the be doing and having to be smooth so enjoy this beautiful smoothingness of path and everything that you're doing and i love you guys so so much oh there it is thank you jen getting out ahead of it the art of segment intending that's what it's called <laughs> thanks jen so I love you guys so, so much. And again, love you again, Debbie. I love that you said that and that you asked that. Um, and I hope that that helped. I hope that that serves um, as you're moving forward. And uh, you're welcome. And um, thank you, guys. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you are in this wonderful, beautiful world. And until we speak again, this is Super Dave, Director of Training with Best Life, signing off, saying may you continue to make your life with Best Life. And I love you guys so, so much. And more to come. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Love you lots. Oh, love you too, Jen. Love you all. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs>